from the MetroBoard website, you click the StormCore link, and if you don't have TestFlight installed, uh, it's going to prompt you to install that. That's the testing application for Apple developers. Um, so if you want to participate in the beta, you have to install TestFlight. So go ahead and install that. Agree to the notifications, click continue. And you should see the StormCore app there. Uh, go ahead and install from there. Open it. Uh, StormCore is going to want to use your Bluetooth. Turn your Metro board on. Say OK. Next. Start testing. So the Metro board uh, is the VESC BLE UART. Go ahead and connect to that, and you're connected up. So the next thing you want to configure right away are your uh, battery configuration. It's uh, minimum voltage is three, max voltage 4.2, that's all right. The battery's in series for the X or 10. Go ahead and set that. And also you'll wanna change your drivetrain settings, configure drivetrain. So the default metro board motors are 130 kV, motor poles are 20. No, sorry, the motor poles are 14. Sorry about that. Motor teeth are 20. The wheel diameter, 155 in my case, with the 52 teeth. All right, close that. And that's all there is to it. You should be seeing some telemetry data um, there. I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and power up. Uh, get my remote turned on. And okay, so I'm gonna switch it to metrics. Oops. Oh, there is a screen here uh, under construction. If you tap that, you'll get to the hidden screen. Um, but this doesn't actually do anything on the X. So I think the app is still in development. Um, the other thing I wanted to change was my units back to Imperial. Okay, and then I should see. Yeah, that's right. Okay, that's all there is to it. If you don't see the um, StormCore app right when you open up Test Flight, if you go back to MetroBoard, you click that StormCore app, then it should launch it up. So you just go ahead and accept, and it'll prompt you to install it. That's it.